Mike here. Glad everyone could join me. The video I have for you today came from the True Max Show. Yep, just happened to be browsing YouTube and boop up to bam. Ran into this video here, originally aired by ODD. So uh, thank you, the True Max Show. I am glad you kept this out and circulating. And uh, basically, it's ESA screwing up. Yeah, with their model and their background. And Archer Sage and I have told you that we have caught Japan, Russia, United States using the same image FTP servers, the same models from the Titan, the Hermarari, and the Epic Discover, the same models of Earth, the same software used to put the cloud layers on everything, faking space to make people believe that we actually live on a spinning ball flying through space. You, you have been warned. The world governments are working together on this. Also, I'd like to uh, make a mention of Subphotonic. He had taken one of my videos, uh, narrated over the top of me, and to be honest with you, it was pretty hilarious. The guy is a little strange. He numbers his videos 125, 124, 119, but he talks about a whole lot of different topics. I'm not sure that uh, um, he's for everyone, but he takes a very common sense, street smart approach to all his topics with logic that just can't be debunked. It, it's pretty awesome. Go so check him out. Last but not least, I'd like to make a mention of Jeanette Gaston. Uh, she mentioned me on my channel. Uh, she told me, uh, we talked a little bit, and uh, her kids, she, she has children in school, and they are being fed lies of homosexuality, LGBT, garbage, and she is angry, and that's one thing that impressed me about her videos, just the raw emotional anger restrained because she is a Christian woman. I know uh, last year we our neighbor boy came and told my wife that he learned at school today that he came from a fish. Uh, despite not having gills and being able to breathe underwater scales. And no evidence whatsoever presented by his teacher, he believes that he came from a fish. And that's because he trusts his teacher. And folks, that is, it's ridiculous. It's an abomination. And uh, I strongly, strongly encourage all you parents, if you have children in our corrupted, satanic, demonically controlled schools today, check into what they're learning and what they are listening to. You will be shocked, probably, if you do. So I'm going to take you step by step. I am going to show you how the ESA screwed it up. I'm going to show you how they did it, how they messed it up, so you'll understand what happened. And, uh, and then I'm going to show you the video. So stay tuned. Here's what happened. We have the European Space Agency flying above a model of Earth in the ISS space station. And it's a night scene. Well, night scenes, we kind of expect stars. And wouldn't you know, we have stars above here. But we also have what appears to be stars below here. Now, how can that be? Well, no, they can't be stars. These must be the lights of individual people home, getting ready for work the next day, doing their homework. Um, motion dishes, whatever. But as you'll notice, these pinpoints of light here are the same brightness as the ones back here. So whoever's back here, they must have very powerful bulbs in their lamps at home to match these less powerful bulbs here. Or something else happened, like the European Space Agency screwed up and put the star layer in front of Earth. And let me show you what happened. And this is how it works. Uh, each one of these channels I'm clicking on, uh, these are called channels, but we'll just call them layers, like Photoshop. And each one of these layers can have a file or a video file on it. For example, on my first layer, I have a black background. On my second layer, I put stars in that I made in Photoshop. Pretty neat, huh? And on my third layer, I put a model of Earth. So we have a black background, we have our stars, and we have our Earth, much like we have here from the European Space Agency aboard the ISS uh, space station. What happened was somebody switched the stars. These are the stars, the middle layer, Earth. Somebody switched the stars in the Earth around on the layers when they were faking this. And so now we have stars in front of the Earth. And I'm going to try to show you this a little bit better. Um, let me see here. I hope Sony Vegas has like a curves editor like Photoshop. 
Okay, uh, apparently Sony Vegas does have a curve editor. I have it right here. Um, this top range should affect highlights, the blue. Yep, yep, sure does. Okay. All right. And so I probably want probably low, lower mid-range. All right, so I, I want you to watch this. We have stars up here, and we have stars here. And I want you to watch that these stars are, in fact, layered in front of the Earth. And so they screwed up. They put the stars in front of the Earth, not behind the Earth. Why? Because this is all fake. They're faking space, people. We cannot orbit Earth. And with billboards in Oklahoma, I heard, in Philadelphia, and more billboards coming, more and more people are going to be aware, and pretty soon there's going to be a mass rush to throw away their globe Earth in the trash. And there will probably be an epidemic because the landfills will be filled up with nothing but broken spinning balls. But it's a price we have to pay. And uh, after you throw your globe away, I, I know it's going to be hard, but... Um, You'll get over it. Just wipe the tears away and move on like a good soldier. The rest of us had to. We couldn't believe it either, but there you have it. This is Mike. I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, share with others. God bless.